So we're going to look at simple interest, and what's happening here is we're going to take an example where one of the things missing is not, the one thing we're looking for is not actually going to be our amount of simple interest. Instead, it's going to be, let's find the amount of time. So we need to find time. Now what I suggest for some people if you're good at literal equations is let's get time isolated. So we'll take our I equals PRT, interest equals principal times rate times time, and let's get the T alone. So we divide each side by both P and R. Cancel, 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 cancel. And we'll find that T equals I over PR. And that's what I'm going to work with. T equals I over P times R. So the interest is 44,000, so I'll put that right here for the I, 44,000. And I need to divide that by both of these things. I need to divide it here by the principle of 500,000. And also in the denominator, I have 2.2%, which is going to be 2.2 divided by 100. Now what I think is a good idea is to put these in parentheses because now I can see that I'm going to cancel the dollar signs and I'll get my time. And so t will be equal to, and I'll go here and I will put in my, four, well I'll leave my 44,000. Why don't I do that so we can watch it develop before us. Here's 500,000 times 2.2 divided by 100 per percent. We're going for years, so I don't have to say, oh, how many times per year? So I only have to do the 2.2 divided by 100. I don't have to slice it further because of doing it multiple times per year. So the denominator becomes 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,000 times 2.2, and then I divide that 2.2 right now by 100. And that equals for me this, 11 followed by three zeros. So now I'll go back and I'll put in my 44, oh, and this dollar sign here too, which we can cancel. So I got my 44,000, 44 and then one, two, three zeros, divide by 11 with one, two, three zeros, and you'll see it's four. And the answer is four years. What I wanted to show you the other way, some people are not as comfortable as I feel perhaps they should be, with literal equations of this type. These aren't the massively difficult kind of literal equations, but if you can isolate the variable before you fill it in, then it's time to bring in your calculator. Now, another thing people have to notice is if you're doing this on your calculator, begin with the 44,000, then it gets weird if you don't use the parentheses because you have to divide by the 500,000. You also have to divide by the 2.2, but then this is divide by dividing by 100, so you actually have to multiply by 100, and that can be problematic for some people. So I like to put the parentheses in, let it do the job, and get that done. What's the other way to do it? Is if I equals PRT, then I can set it up where the interest is known to be $44,000 equals principal, which is $500,000, and R is going to be 2.2 divide by 100. So all that's there, and then it's followed by t. And now if you look what you have to do, you have to come through here, and you have to get the $500,000. Also down here is times 2.2, and then in that same spot, you're dividing by 100. And this is going to take the 500000 times 2.2 and divide by 100. And you could take these in parentheses to see that they go out and put this in parentheses before you wind up doing the same thing. So you can move them as numbers or you can move them as variables and fill them as numbers. But in either case, you have to find out what you're going to do with that denominator. And the hundred's a little weird. The other option some people take is they put the percent in as not 0.22, if you're accurately putting it in as 0.22, then you can enter your value that way, and you don't have to work with the 100 individually. So we have one more problem for this that I want to show you. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to find the APR. If we know that $4,600 is invested, so you got to think about what that means, for two years, 
and the total of $690 in interest is what it nets. What it gets for you is $690 in interest. So I think this might be a good idea, a good time to get working on this, is interest, do we know that? Yes, we do, is $690. Because we have interest equals PRT. Do we know the principal? We do. P is equal to $4,600. Do we know the interest rate? Interest rate. No, that's the question mark. That's what we're solving for. Therefore, we must know that T is equal to two years. So now I'm looking for the interest rate. So I can go ahead and take my I equals P times R times T. I want to get the R loan, so I'll divide by both P and T, by both P and T. And I'll cancel the P's, cancel the T's, and R can equal for me I over PT. Therefore, R will be equal to my interest rate of 690 over P, which is 4,600, and T, which is 2. So if you bring these two together, you can see what that's going to make. So we're still going to have 690. And we're going to divide that by doubling the 4,600, 9,200. So go ahead, 690. And you could just do this with the parentheses to generate your 9,200. But 690 divided by 9,200. Got to make sure you have the right number of zeros in each case. And that equals 0.075. Does that mean that the interest rate is 0.075%? The answer is no. 0.075% is less than 1%, and that won't get you there. But why? Well, R is the APR, and R gets used as a decimal. And to make it into the decimal, we would use it as 0 0.075. But what we really have here is the value of R, once it's divided by 100, is going to get me. 0.075. So you may know that 0.075 is some percentage using the digits 7 and 5, possibly others as well. But what happens here is if I put this over 1 and I multiply each side by 100 over 1, the hundreds will cancel and R will equal and multiplying by 100 keeps the digits of 7 and 5, but it moves the decimal twice in a way that makes it look larger. So 7 and 5 are still there, but I move the decimal to make it look like 7.5. I make one, two decimal moves, and therefore I get this, 7.5%. And that's my APR. So that can be what gets you 7.5%, or you can take the 0.075, and convert that decimal that's not yet a percent into a percent because remember, percents use the same digits to make it look like a more comfortable number. Nobody wants to hear 0 0.075 as much as they would prefer to hear 7.5 and then have them hit up with the percent. So the percentage on this is 7.5 and we're set.